Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am announcing the KU Readathon. So this is a readathon that is being put on by Jess from Peace Love Books. She came up with this brilliant idea for us to read Kindle Unlimited romances or really any book on Kindle Unlimited for an entire weekend. The readathon is going to be running from December 27th to December 29th and a whole host of different romance booktubers are helping co-host and I will leave everybody's links down in the description below for the people that I know that are definitely hosting this. So I'm just really excited about it. As you guys know, I do a lot of Kindle Unlimited recommendations on my channel and I just love KU. I feel like it's so underrated. I still don't think there are enough romance readers or readers in general that have this subscription service and I really do think it's worth it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below as well for a free trial for Kindle Unlimited if you guys want to sign up just for the month of December so you guys can participate and I'm also going to leave a link for getting Kindle Unlimited like the bundles. You can instead of paying month to month get a discounted rate if you do six months all up front or a year all up front. So again I'll leave all that information down in the description for you guys, but I figured since we're here, I could go ahead and tell you guys some books that I recommend you guys read in the spirit kind of of the holiday season. None of these are specifically Christmas romances since this readathon is taking place after Christmas, but they do kind of have that cozy holiday vibe and it'll still keep you in the spirit of things after Christmas. And then I'll tell you guys some books that I have on my personal TBR. So let's get into it. So first I'm going to be doing my recommendations for you guys. And first book on my list is The Butterfly Project by Emma Scott. This is a book that gets a fair amount of hype here on booktube. I know that Gabby from the channel Gabby Reads absolutely loves this book. It's set in New York in the wintertime and it just has a really good message. Our, one of our main characters has just been released from prison and another main character is someone who I believe is trying to get her graphic novel up off the ground and get it published and get the recognition that she deserves. I loved their romance. I thought it was really sweet and it's just perfect for this time of year. Next I recommend The Air He Breathes by Brittany C. Cherry. I love Brittany C. Cherry. I haven't read a lot of her books recently but I did read the entire series for like The Air He Breathes. I think it's the Element series or something like that. The first book is definitely my favorite. It deals a lot with grief, but it definitely has an air of hope to it. I also feel like romances that have a child involved, you know, like a single parent situation, really just reminds me of the holiday season. I don't know why, but I just feel like it gives you all the warm and cozy vibes seeing two people come together and have, I don't know, like a child to bring them closer together, which definitely happens in this particular romance. Both of our main characters are dealing with the loss of their respective spouses, so it's definitely a harder hitting romance, but it's definitely super sweet. And this is a little bit more on the tame side, I would say. There are definitely explicit scenes, but it definitely doesn't feel overly smutty if you're not really into smutty romances. So I definitely recommend this one. Next, if you're not looking for something super holiday themed, but again, I guess like all romances set in New York to me just feel very like holiday inspired, right for the holidays. So I have many by J.M. Darhauer. This is a duology or duet that is available on Kindle Unlimited. It deals with this like mafia boss, but it's definitely a twist on that like mafia romance trope because our main character is fucking hilarious. He's blind in one eye. He's just, I don't know, his dialogue really works for me. And it definitely brings a, in my opinion, more lighthearted approach to the whole like mafia romance trope. So if you've been wanting to get into like slightly darker romances, I think this one's a perfect one to start with. I also really liked our main character. And again, there is a child involved. Our main character are female. She has a child and it's really nice watching this like hardened criminal, I guess, fall for this woman who has a kid and, and like get to know the kid. I, I loved it. It was a great romance. Highly recommend the whole duology. The next book that I recommend is Scorpio Hates Virgo. This is a friends to lovers like college new adult romance. It's male male and I believe there is a scene set during Christmas. I think they go home for Christmas together. So again, it kind of has those holiday vibes and in general, this is just one of my favorite male male romances. It's just super sweet. The development's there. It's definitely more slice of life than this like big blown out dramatic plot which I personally really enjoy so I think I might honestly be rereading this for the readathon like I'm just really excited about this book and I definitely recommend it to you guys no Kindle Unlimited list from this year for me at least could be complete without talking about The Guy on the Right by Kate Stewart I am reading The Guy on the Left right now I'm loving it but The Guy on the Right is definitely my favorite book of this year it was the perfect new adult read for me personally it deals with the band geek and this girl who's been burned one too many times by douchey guys in her life and I just loved watching them come together. I loved this romance so much. This one doesn't deal as much with the holiday season, but I just like this romance and I feel like it's worth talking to you guys about. In my opinion, it was like perfect from start to finish and both of the characters are so realistically flawed. So I highly, highly recommend this one. And then my last recommendation for you guys is Torn by Carrie and Cole. This is an age gap romance and it's a very sweet age gap romance. It's definitely steamy. It's definitely taboo and forbidden, but at the heart of it, it is very wholesome. Like our main character, I think the dude, he like rescues animals and he 
and he teaches his love interest to like save animals and stuff. I think he's also part of a biker gang, but like not really a biker gang. I loved it. I thought it was a really fun romance, and I am really like happy to have discovered Carrie and Cole this. I think a lot of her romances are also available on Kindle Unlimited, but I would say Horn, and then the second book in the series is also really good and very like heart wrenching and like kind of perfect for this time of year. It's about a girl who was kept in captivity for a while. I don't remember the name of the book. I'll put a picture right here if you guys are interested in that one. I would check that one out as well. But those are the books that I recommend to you guys. I thought I'd also mention the four books that I have tentatively placed on my TBR. They are full length novels. I think one is also available on Audible Escape, so I'll probably be like listening to it. But it is also available on Kindle Unlimited if you wanted to add it to your TBR. So, so the first book is Landon and Shay by Bernice C. Cherry. This is one of Bernice C. Cherry's newest books. It's supposed to be an enemies to lovers series and, or duology, I guess. And I'm just really excited about this one. I love Bernice C. Cherry's writing. It's been a while since I have read anything by her, but most of her books pack such an emotional punch. I feel like this one is really a book that I'm going to absolutely adore. I'm really excited about it. The next book, also really excited about, I saw this author on Audible Escape and I looked for the book like equivalent to it or the Kindle Unlimited book and apparently it's only available on Audible Escape first. I'll, I'll flash a picture if I can find it of the book, love the like Audible original, but I found another book by this author that I'm really interested in. One of my goals for 2020 is to read more books by authors of color, especially like new to me authors of color. This one is Let Me Love You by Alexandria House. She's a black romance author and she writes primarily black centered romances, which I think is really kick ass. I don't know much about this one except for the ratings on Goodreads were fantastic. It had like 4.5 or 4.6 like stars. So I'm excited about it. I kind of want to go in blind. I would love to read some of this author's backlist if I end up really liking this one. So that's one that's definitely on my radar. The next book is The Kingmaker by Kennedy Ryan. Again, another author of color. She is a black author and she writes fan fucking tastic romance stories. She does so much research into her characters and into the subjects which she discusses in each book. She definitely brings a sophistication to the indie romance space. The Kingmaker is about a, an oil pipeline and it's the romance between a guy who is basically in charge of the company that's trying to build the oil pipeline and I believe our female main character is indigenous or Native American and she is protesting the pipeline so it's their romance and I've heard that the research that was taken especially for this book was fantastic so I'm really excited to read this one and just get into Kennedy Ryan's writing again because she is just in my opinion unlike any other writer and I love her romances so I'm really excited to get to this one and then if I have time I'd like to read Drive Me Wild by Julie Chris. This is one that I don't know again much about. It's like first in a series. I, I can't remember what it's called. The Riggs Brothers series, I think. It's supposed to be just like bad boy romances. I don't know much about this author or about this book, but again, I kind of want to go in blind. In general, I kind of want to go into either the stories or the author's like backlist, not knowing much. For this readathon, I just feel like it'd be fun instead of reading authors that I'm already like super familiar with to kind of branch out and try new things because Kindle Unlimited, like really the world is your oyster. There's so much out there and there's stuff that isn't romance either. So if you guys wanted to participate and you aren't super big romance readers, definitely feel free to participate. Like I said, this readathon is going to be running from December 27th to the 29th and it's just it's gonna be a fun time I'm really I'm really thrilled about it so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you guys have a beautiful Sunday and I will see you guys uh, in my next video love you guys so much and until next time